Aloha and welcome back to High Now. Again, it's Good Energy Kitchen, sponsored by our good friends over at Hawaii Gas. And we're continuing that trend. Now, earlier we've had Chef Chai with us. We've done a little bit of seafood, but we're going to take things out of the ocean and we're going to head for land. What are we cooking now? This one is a pan-seared duck breast. And because I'm from Thailand and being 35 year anniversary, we do with a Thai Penang curry sauce. So it's have a Penang curry paste, a coconut milk, and green pea, bell pepper. But first, you want to sear your duck breast. You want to slow sear it. You score the skin a little bit. You want to see Can you hold that up one more time, Chef? Show the camera that. That's, I've cooked duck before. It's never looked that good. Because so. you want the skin to be nice and crispy gotcha. and not fat in there. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And then for the sauce, it's very, well, this one is pre-make. You have the Penang curry paste. You can We can't tell it. you everything that's in there, okay? We just can't do it. But see, instant heat, the avoid right away from gas. I'm glad you brought that up, Chef. Instant heat. Now, earlier we talked immediately responsive heat and even heat distribution that comes along with the many benefits of cooking with gas. But now I want to talk about less wasted heat as well, right? Because as soon as you power the gas on and turn, turn it, it off, off. Exactly. the heat goes too. A lot of times on those electric cooktops, the heat is going to kind of emanate and it'll still stay there. So we're wasting a little bit there. So that's why cooking with gas is so great. In addition to that, you're also unaffected uh, at times when it comes to power outage. Right, and you were talking about exactly. that earlier. Exactly. Yeah? I do a K I did a catering and the power out the whole Hawaii Kai. You can't plan for that. Then thank, what happened? What did you do? Thank goodness, we have cook it perfect. We have a propane uh, portable kitchen. So gas is still there, but no, no power. So we just light the candle and then we start cooking. That's why there's that saying, right now we're cooking with gas. Chef Chai's making it happen. Are we slicing into the duck breast? It looks like we are. You want to do about medium or medium rare. Okay. Uh, and we, can we get a shot of that sauce? That thing is coming together really nicely. What what uh, what kind of heat are we working over there, Chef? That one you can go, you don't want to go too high because you Not want too high. you want to simmer the, the curry to get all the flavor coming out. So that our dog. Now, in addition to that, cooking with gas is also going to give you cleaner fuel, right? And that's what we're talking about here. We're looking for ways to become more sustainability, more sustainable, either if you're at home or in the kitchen. And oh my. Oh my. Oh volcano. my. Look at this. One more time on this dish. Is uh, this a, what do you call it? And this is part of the, the dinner you were Yes, yeah? pansy duck breast with the Penang curry sauce. Beautiful, so, beautiful. Seats still available tonight. Tomorrow night we sold out. So mm -hmm. if you'd like to join us, give us a call. 808-585-0011. And there you go. And he's going to have more dinners uh, paired with wine coming up here in a little bit. But if we can, can we just get a look at the dishes over here? Again, now, Chef has been over here on High Now the entire show cooking these up. Mahalo to Hawaii Gas for that. But this is what you kind of get, right? It's dependable, and you can almost kind of predict the results that are going to come out. Although no one's the chef that Chef Chai is. We're not exactly <laughs> saying that. But gas is just going to make it easier for you when you're cooking in the kitchen. I, you know? I think any pro you can ask any professional chef that will say it. Gas is by far better than electric. Okay, I love that. Yeah, uh, uh, again, very delicious dishes, and Chef Chai is going to have more dinners that are coming up. So when you're thinking about pairing these dishes with wine, what kind of goes into that whole inception? You know, people often think Thai food is not pairing well with wine, but I think mm -hmm. it's wrong. You just have to choose the right one because the food have a little bit of spicy and heat, a lot of flavor. You want the, the wine that a little bit on the fruitier side, like a Riesling. Uh, later on, we can try this. This is one of my favorite. Okay. This what, one what is, that? is a conundrum. It's it's a white blend, perfect for Thai food. Because it's a blend of Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Viognier, Muscat. It have a little bit of honey, a little bit sweet, but it's well balanced and then perfect for Thai food. I love that, two words for that. Yes, please. What's the other ones? And we're gonna get into a little bit more wine tasting yes. later, yeah? These are all going to be part of it as well? This is a part of it. For, my, for the first course, I do the, the soup with the chicken satay. It's go perfect with this one, the conundrum white. And then the second course, we do the Thai beef salad with the pork tenderloin with crispy rice. Go perfect with conundrum. I love it. Now, again, gang, tickets, unfortunately, for this weekend are going to be sold out, but there's going to be much more with Chef, Kai, Chef Chai excuse me, coming up here on High Now in just a little bit. But for now, we're going to send things down to the studio with Rachel. How's it, Rachel? I promise I'll save you some. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>